Am I good? Good afternoon. How are you guys? Good. Enjoying the show? Fantastic. I'm Matt Hall. I'm with Hewlett Packard Enterprise. I run our US channel service provider organization. And I'm here today to talk about our open portfolio, talk about considerations that you need to make when you're going open, problems that can arise, and how HPE can help. So I want to make this interactive. It's a small group. If you guys have questions, if you have things to interject, please speak up. No haggling for some of the folks back there that I know. So the title of the presentation is Jump Into the Open. HP has your parachute. The clicker stopped working here, so give me one second. All right, so I want to start out by talking. Why do folks want to jump into the open? Okay. HP has a tremendous amount of experience in open compute. We were one of the first open compute providers a couple years ago. We launched Cloudline product set. We've evolved the product set greatly. We've shipped over 200,000 OCP servers to date and growing. Okay. So we're very serious about this market. We have a lot of experience working with customers that have been very successful with open compute. We have experience working with customers that haven't been as successful and we've had to help them along the journey. Okay? So the reasons for jumping into open compute, most of you are aware of those reasons, that's why you're sitting here today, but it really comes down to three things, right? And this is what the OCP community espouses. First and foremost, make hardware more efficient, make it cost optimized, make it fungible, the commoditization of the hardware. That's number one. Number two, make the hardware more flexible. Gives you choice, give you customization, the ability to work across multiple vendors. And then number three, make the hardware more scalable. By having an open community, the thought is that you have innovations that you wouldn't have as a closed community. Make sense to you guys? Any other reasons that come to mind as to why you jump into open compute? Okay. So what are some of the challenges that we've seen? Okay, seems pretty simple in nature, but there are risks and there are considerations. And like I said, we've shipped over 200,000 units. We've seen these in real life, and we've helped, cu helped customers work through them. The first is actually adding cost versus reducing cost. There is a propensity to run into open compute with the thought that you're going to save a ton of capital expenditure, but you haven't given thought in how you're going to manage the infrastructure, what your OPEX expenses are going to be, what methodology you're approaching your operations with. This is keenly important. We have seen folks that jump into this for the capital expenditure savings and their costs skyrocket from a TCO perspective. Okay? There are tremendous savings to be seen from having common components, common firmware, having the ability to be fungible with your hardware, but if you're not taking that into consideration, how you manage that, the management tools, you're going to have problems. And I'll talk about how HPE can help with that. The second piece is supply chain. HPE ships five servers every minute of our ProLiant servers, five servers every minute. We have these things sitting on the shelf. They're ready to go. Dell, other OEMs, the same way. When you start entering into the open, you don't have the economies of scale to pull from necessarily. So there are considerations you need to make around planning, around supply chain, capacity planning, making sure that you're making early enough commitments to get the supply, and HPE can help here. The third consideration to think about is the manageability. As you move away from the proprietary OEM solutions, you're on the hook to do your own management. And again, this is where a tremendous amount of the savings and a tremendous amount of the innovation can come from, but if you haven't planned for it properly, it can cause challenges. So the three, these are three of the biggest issues that we have seen, three of the biggest considerations that we've helped customers with on their journey to open. And I'll talk a little bit about how HPE can help here. I know this looks like in a marketing slide, and it is, but I'll try to make it as relevant to these problems as possible, okay? So this is where HPE can help. Number one, we have industry leadership. Number two, cost. Number three, supply chain. Number four, quality, and I'll talk about each of these in depth. Security, service support, portfolio, and IP and roadmap. So how does that relate back to what I just talked about? How does that relate to your journey to open? Let me talk about it for a minute here. So on the industry leadership, we've done this. We've done this. We've shipped over 40 million servers. We have over a million customers. We have been the number one x86 service provider for many, or excuse me, server provider for many, many years. We've done this. We know how to do it. As we move to open, 
we can leverage the learnings we've had over the past number of years, the great wins that we've had, and make sure that we are as successful with Open as we've been with the other platforms. Number two, cost, TCO. As I mentioned earlier, we ship one, five servers every 60 seconds. We ship seven network devices and seven terabytes of storage in that same time frame. We have tremendous scale. We are the largest consumer in the world of enterprise DRAM, enterprise DIMMs, enterprise SSDs, enterprise hard drives. We have best-in-class pricing terms with these vendors. We can help you with the cost, okay? HP, not necessarily what pops to mind when you think of cost leader, however we are. And as we get into open and we strip out some of the things that you can't use because you want to go open, your costs come down and we have the economies of scale. The third piece here is supply chain. We have a $1.5 billion supply chain at any given time. We have 600 suppliers under management. We have 250,000 servers in our supply chain at any given time. We're managing top bin quality and we're operating in 170 different countries. We have manufacturing facilities in North America, South America, EMEA, and APJ. We can deliver servers within weeks in each of those locations. This is something the other guys can't do. Quality. Because of the scale and breadth that we have of installed base, of servers, of commodities, we know when quality problems arise. We are the first to know. We work very closely with all of the vendors that provide things for our servers, and we're the number one quality provider in the world. As we go into open and we do off-the-shelf components, it's slightly different. However, we can leverage those learning. A lot of the underlying components are the same, even though the firmware may be generic, and we can manage the quality better than anybody else. From a security perspective, we've been around a long time. We've been doing this. We are known, we're trusted, there are no known security issues that HP's had. Can't say that about other vendors, so you can trust us. You can trust HPE as you move into the open. Service and support, and this is varies by company that we engage with. Some folks don't want any service and support, others want warranty only, others want us to come in and manage the entire data center. The nice part about working with HPE is we have that entire catalog. You pick and choose what you want or what you don't want. We are the largest IT support organization in the world. Our portfolio, as I said, we're very committed to open and I'll flash up our portfolio and we'll talk about it later on the main stage. But we have a portfolio that goes well beyond our cloud line open products. We have networking, we have storage. We have other types of servers for other workloads, other applications that you'd be looking at, one throat to choke. We have the broadest portfolio in the industry. And lastly is our IP and roadmap. So we spend a lot of time on engineering. We have massive engineering organizations and those engineering er er learnings and advancements wind up being in our open compute products as well. So in a nutshell, we have a lot to bring to the table. As I've mentioned, we've shipped several hundred thousand of these platforms, we've done it successfully, and we've helped folks overcome the challenges using the breadth and the portfolio I talked about. So what are we doing from an open perspective? I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about the portfolio, I don't wanna talk about speeds and feeds, but I wanna make sure you guys are aware of what we had. Two years ago at this event, HP announced Cloudline. It's through a joint venture with Foxconn, and we've had the Cloudline portfolio in existence for two years. We've expanded the portfolio, so as you see behind me, we have the CL2100, the 2200, the 3100, the 5200, which is your bulk storage box, the CL7100, which is the true OCP design, and then we're supporting the Intel RSD. Our booth is directly behind you. We have these products there. We have experts that can talk to you about the products, so please, please, please come learn. Give us feedback on what you guys want to see in the product portfolio. We are at continuing to advance the portfolio, take your feedback and make sure that the next generation of products is ready to roll. So on top of the infrastructure, we are not just approaching this from a hardware perspective, we're approaching this from an ecosystem perspective. So at the bottom, you see the software defined data center infrastructure. So we have all of our various products, we have our servers, we have our storage, we have networking, um, we have a very close relationship with Arista. You saw the announcement um, about uh, 
one of our storage purchases the last couple days. On top of that, you have the API layer. Um, we work with Redfish. We have a ton of other partners in the ecosystem. And then laid on top of that, we have very deep relationships with the likes of Scality, with OpenStack, with Microsoft, Red Hat, Chef, Mesosphere. So the takeaway here is we're not just going to sell you a box. We're going to come in and help you with the broad industry relationships to build the solutions on the foundation of our platforms with the products and processes from our partners in the industry. Now the title of this presentation was about the fact that we have your parachute. I talked about some of the challenges that folks see. And what I wanted to do was show some real world examples where HP was able to step in and help customers on their journey to open, help customers overcome challenges. And I'll make this short and sweet and I'll give you the call to action. So on the supply chain front, this is a real world scenario. Number one, disaster hits at a very large memory supplier. Factory burns to the ground. We understand that all supply is now going to be constrained. Within 10 minutes, our executive vice president of supply chain is notified. He leaves a meeting with our CEO, drives straight to the airport, gets on a plane to Korea to meet with the vendor. We wind up executing the contracts that allow us to have first right refusal to all the supply. And we are not constrained when the rest of the industry is. Okay, this is an example of the tremendous supply chain that HP can bring to bear as we move to open and the rest of our products. Real world scenario number two relates to engineering, it relates to quality. So we had a customer that was experiencing issues where they had third party options that they had asked us to put in the box, but it was blowing fuses on our DL380 servers. Within their environment, they also had some ODM built product. We determined the issue that was causing the fuses to blow and we helped them fix the issue not only on our ProLiant products, but also on the ODM products. So an example of the, the engineering and quality that HP can bring to bear. World world scenario number three, and this has to do with support service and also supply chain. We had a customer that needed 10,000 hard drives immediately. Saw a massive fallout of hard drives. Their infrastructure was down, they were in trouble. We happen to have 10,000 hard drives sitting in inventory, the exact hard drives they need. And through our support organization, which operates in 170 different countries, we were able to have people on site within 12 hours replacing the hard drives. This is something that another vendor cannot bring to bear, okay? So as you guys go down the path to open, I want the takeaway to be the things that HP can do to make sure that you're protected from the things that go bump in the night, the things that can go wrong, and we can help you on this journey. We've done it many times, we'll do it many more. So the call to action. Number one, please ex attend the executive stage presentation at 345. We'll be going deeper into the product portfolio. I want you guys really to understand what we have today, what's on our roadmap, and again, please go back to the booth and take a look at the products. You can touch, feel them. Number two, take a look to, uh, go to our booth. Um, we're giving away an HP Chromebook, so we have a raffle there, so please enter your card. And then number three, talk to your HP rep. Cloudline is a new product for us. The open mentality is fairly new for HP. And we're doing very well in it, and we want you guys to be deeply educated and understand what we're doing in this space and how we can support you. So with that, I appreciate your time. Thank you for coming to this. Any questions, please grab me afterwards. So thank you.